movement of the room, rustling of voices. between the eye and the light. Window, mirror, mask, shadow, lantern, fan, books, documents, letters, notes, red, stored, forgotten, buried, decomposing, all begin as water, mountain, tree, cloud. Hogo show. Scrap paper. Hogo show. Um, 19th century tax records, marriage documents official edicts from a northern village that no longer exists, no longer legible. Lives like ours. I use them. Folding past and present. Mm. It's difficult when words wash away. Who said what to whom? Who overheard? Sumi ink gliding off the page, dissolving. Becoming liquid again before language. Oh, some scraps I say. And even though I cannot read the moment, I like the shape. Gather all of wet fiber. Place on thick board. Raise mallet and pound fiber. <coughs> A strong ribbon. Yada <coughs> oka Of a song. 
about how miserable it is to be a paper maker. <laughs> your hands are always too cold to warm your lover in bed. Many verses. To break down the fiber until it is light enough to float. Hands. <coughs> hands. I've made paper before me. Many hands. Wood, water, root juice. Hands. Make this. This, this, this. <laughs> Touch. An invisible hand. Light. Intimate. Recycling is old, old as paper making. Ghosts leave shadows, shades of gray, forever in fire. Sadness squeezes out white clay. Rick you gray until the water runs clear with her tears. Tomiko. Fujiwara Tomiko. Her love has died. The Emperor Seiwa, who wrote his love in 31 syllables. Poems he sent to her, letters describing the moon and her touch, and places they had watched wind spread their arms to each other and pass between them. He was the Emperor, she his favorite consort, but that is to speak of position, not love. Fiber with gentle, strong fingers. 
opens up the fiber and lets it float. From the scraps, she makes pulp. From pulp paper on which she writes sutras. Her brush flows sumi ink on paper. Flowering kanji. Mixing a new alphabet made by a woman's hand. Her brush flows down like a river to bring his soul peace. She gives the papers with the sutras to his family and friends, recycling his love into prayers, respiriting paper. Paper, when you touch, tells of love on hands, fingers, reaching, squeezing, grabbing, caressing, beyond pain, exhausting pleasure, to find a place of peace. Beyond words, before the poem, paper. Wet is most beautiful. The moment of peeling back like a newborn baby, transparent, shining, watery surface, like life itself.